good evening, everybody. My name is uh, Damon Jones. I live 33 North Carolina Avenue, Mount Vernon, New York. And I wanted to follow up on uh, a subject that was briefly talked about um, by Jeff Monroe, the civilian who's on the youth board. Um, I've been coming in front of the city council for the last seven years discussing the civilian complaint review board, the CCRB. Alberta is the only city out of 44 municipalities in Westchester County that has a CCRB in the city charter. And the national conversation of police oversight and accountability and ways and means of citizens to make formal complaints on police officers if they violate their policies and procedures and training. I think it's embarrassing to the city to have it in their charter and not appoint anyone to it. Uh, Mount Vernon has an opportunity to be a torchlight for civilian oversight in Westchester County because no other city out of the 43 municipalities have it. Also, it should be an independent civilian complaint review board, meaning that in, in the charters, it, it, in the Mount Vernon charter, it states that the mayor appoints it. That's not independent. The appointment should come from the city council itself. I see that the police commissioner here, and I hope that the police commissioner is uh, in favor of, of a CCRB, but I also recognize that it's a civilian complaint review board. There should be no police officials on that. It should be represented by the city council. Also, it should be specific legislation it should be passed for the city council will empower the board to receive here, make findings, recommend action complaints against law enforcement agencies or municipalities, jurisdictions, which alleges the use of uh, sexual and un unnecessary force, abuse, authority, discourtesy, misconduct, or the use of offensive language. The investigations are to become in conducted in an impartial fa fashion by the board's investigative staff. All investigation will be in partnership with alongside the law enforcement agencies, meaning the police department. Complaints can be made in person, uh, whether or not the victim, whether or not that person is a victim or witnesses. Now, I just got a call just the other day of an incident here in Mount Vernon where police, I guess they went to the wrong house and pulled guns on the case. And the person called me, so I told them to come to the clerk's office. Because a lot of times, the people that have complaints, they're scared of going to the police department. And then they're asked questions like, do you have an ID and what is the complaint? which that's not the problem. They should just need to give them the complaint. The officer at the desk should not worry about what the complaint is about. He just needs to give them the complaint. So we need to have a separate area, and I would recommend people to come to the clerk's office to get the complaint so they wouldn't have to go through. Even if, you know, I, I had a retired correction officer. But also, I just want to say at the end of it that there's a national there's a National Association of Law Enforcement and Oversight. And I hope that this board will come under that because it is national standards um, on police oversight. And I added all that in this packet for everybody here. And I thank you very much. Oh, and, oh I didn't know I had time left. I'm still waiting on the uh, results of the complaint I made uh, last uh, last meeting on the, on the false investigation brought against my wife because she was on a uh, job injury. And I also must remind you that there is no 207C policy to bring up on any type of charges, and uh, we're waiting on that. So um, I hope to get that soon so I can bring that to my lawyer and see if I have any legal, uh, legal options to take against the city. Thank you.